I just don't know. Our daughter Ressa was born first and she weighed one pound nine ounces and was 13 inches long. As we knew that it was time for her to go, we gave permission to the nurses to disconnect the various tubes so that she could go where she needed to be. Losing a child is a very intimate experience. There is a rising rate of prematurity all over this country. It has been climbing for the last five plus years. It's now one in eight babies. Mortality and morbidity significantly decreases in infants who have been on mother's milk. There are women who are high volume producers. These mothers we recruit to be donors, especially if they're NICU moms and they understand how sick babies in the NICU can be. Breast milk gives that baby passive immunity. It gives that baby antibodies. They're very motivated to help other moms and other babies who don't have enough of their own milk. Donating milk is one of the most altruistic acts that I know of. I think I donated somewhere around the neighborhood of seven or 800 ounces. I had liquid gold overflowing. <laughs> Over 400 ounces. 400 ounces, roughly 1,400 ounces. I think about 12 gallons. Even before Ressa passed away, I had been collecting a lot of milk. I kept pumping enough to reach my goal of 100 gallons. Kelly found a shirt online that says, I make milk, what's your superpower? We've gotten into contentious battles with Blue Cross on front page news. Through the course of slight stay in the hospital, the insurance company was willing to pay for the donor breast milk, but after we brought him home, we were denied by the insurance company. They said it was no longer a medical necessity. In this country, we have an enormous problem with uh, trying to reduce health care costs in every setting, and, and this is a win-win-win for everybody. Uh, you can reduce hospitalization costs, you can reduce hospital lengths of stay, get much better clinical outcomes, you avoid pediatric deaths, uh, and you avoid long-term developmental disabilities. If we have human milk banking, if we feed premature babies with their mother's milk, we will have healthier and more intelligent infants. That's the way to survive as human beings.